this video to all the passengers and crew who lost their lives around Point Nepean. There is a staggering 31 shipwrecks around the area of Point Nepean. From Melbourne to Point Nepean is about approximately an hour to an hour and a half drive. I decided on the day to go to Point Nepean. I was reading up uh, some articles and stuff like that in regards to Point Nepean. So I wanted to undertake myself and actually go to the cemetery and actually see the area and actually find where the uh, graves of the drowned victims were from the shipwrecks and some died of diseases. So I decide on the day, bring my paranormal equipment and see whether we can communicate with spirits there. So I'm going to arrive at the Gunner's Cottage. Then I'm going to move over to Point the Pean Cemetery. A lot of the uh, victims from the shipwrecks are buried there. And then we're going to move over to the Harold Holt Memorial and also the location of the SS Cheviot 1887 was there as well. Then we're going to move over and go to the Fort Nepean there and we're going to conduct a spirit session around that area. This is Reese here from the Inquisitive Cat Channel. I'm just doing a random. I'm in uh, Point Nepean uh, near Sorrento. So we're going to do a little bit of a paranormal investigation and we're going to go to the cemetery. So let's go. Now, this area here was where the um, newly arrivals around the 1850s uh, perished and were buried. So we're going to go to the cemetery there. We're going to do an investigation now. Let me tell you, I've done a lot of paranormal stuff in my time and it doesn't matter if it's night, it doesn't matter if it's day. If you set your mind to it, focus, um, you can you can do do this uh, like what I do. There's another one, uh, another investigator, paranormal investigator called Ghost Pictures. Check her out. She's uh, got some interesting stuff. She does a little bit different to what I do, but I like to make my sessions and interactions uh, a little bit different and unique. So um, yeah, I, I do a little bit different from everyone else. So we're coming up to, I can see the cemetery coming up here. So we'll, we'll do an investigation and see if these spirits talk. If you haven't checked out my stuff, please do. And you'll hear the voices speak of the spirits. Now, when I do it, I, I record it and sometimes they speak really fast. So what I do, I come back home with my software and I slow it down. They speak at a faster rate, and when I slow it down, you can actually hear them speak. So what I'm going to do is get my um, P my famous PSP7. This is a T with a temperature on it, and uh, this is it here, the cemetery. So if you ever want to come here, this is the place uh, around here. It's um, right here. I'm going to show you. Point Nepean Cemetery was established in 1854, replacing the Quarantine Station Cemetery after beach erosion had unearthed burials. The location of the cemetery was outside the boundary of the Quarantine Station, so the visitors and local burials would not be subject to quarantine restrictions. The gravestones mark the resting places of the quarantine deaths, early settlers, shipwrecked victims, sailors and defence personnel. Up to 300 people are buried, believed to be buried in the cemetery, but many graves are unmarked and the names are long forgotten. The six graves on your right are the outside cemetery boundary and were reburied of people exhumed from the original Quarantine Station Cemetery, 1852. And before I start, before I start, I'm going to ask permission for the um, the people who have passed away here. I want to ask permission for you to come through and speak with me today. And um, the greatest respect, and I'm very sorry that you passed away. Um, I do this all the time, if you want to know. 
I speak to uh, people that have passed away and ask permission. I always do this. So if you would like for me, uh, if you would like to come through and speak to me, please come through. I, um, I, putting my arms out and um, asking you to join me, to speak with me. I'm going to ask some questions, your names, what happened to you, where were you from, and, and w when you passed away, if you can tell me. So let's do this, and we're going to... And you, the sounds that you hear, I'm going to let you know now. These are spirits, not um, radio. All right. We're going to get it ready to go. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to turn the volume. Hello, my name is Reese. What is your name? Hello. What is your name? My name is Reese. Uh, and I speak to uh, people who have passed away. I have the ability to do that. So I invite you with open arms to come through and speak with me. So can you come through and speak to me? And tell me your name. What is your name? I'm coming up to a grave now. What is your name? Can you tell me your name? Come through. When did you pass away? Can you tell me the year? When did you pass away? What, what is your name? What is your name? There's a, lot, there's a lot coming through. Can you tell me your name? I'm right behind you. What is your name? Can you come through? What is your name? How old were you when you passed away? I'm just behind that gravestone. How old were you when you passed away? What happened to you? What happened to you? Let's go. Edward. Hey, Edward. Hello. My name is Reed. What, what happened to you, Edward? The same person, same voice, has come through three times now. This is you, Edward. What happened to you, my friend? Did you drown? Did you drown saving passengers? I'm, I'm very sorry to hear that. I, I'm reading now that you passed away. This is Edward Matthewson. He tried saving um, some people after a shipwreck and he drowned. Doing it. So my hat's off to you, Edward for trying to save people and giving your life. I thank you. Thank you so much. How many spirits are here right now as we speak? What, what, what I find, spirits come and go. Come through, what's your name? I'm going to twist this around. Now I'm going to do an experiment at Margaret's gravestone using a REM pod and see if she communicates with me. Are you able to touch this um, device here? 
Margaret. Margaret Ford. Are you able to come over here and touch this to show me that you can touch this device? It lights up. See if you can try. You can touch it. You can come through. Don't be afraid. My name is Reese. And I can talk to people like you. Do you know that? If you understand, can you touch that REM pod? This, this device here, it's called a REM pod. See with the lights on it? It's got a metal thing sticking out. Can you touch that for me? James? Come through. Can you come through and touch that device? That thing on the ground? Don't be afraid of it. Just try it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, darling. Is that you, Margaret? Is that, if that's you, Margaret, can you um, do that again, darling? Ah, you, You're a lovely child. I am so sorry what happened to you, you darling. Oh, I'm so sorry, but thank you so much, my darling. Think, oh, look at that. It's fun, isn't it? See? See? The REM pod works. Margaret, can you do that again, darling? You'll hear it probably go off again. She likes it. Margaret likes it. It's a toy, isn't it? It's fun. Can you do it again, darling? Can you show me... Can you show me you can do it again? Do it one more time, darling. Do it one more time, darling. Just show me you can do it. Go, darling. One more time. One more time, then we'll go. And I'll come back again and we'll play again another time. Would you like that? I've got a cat ball as well. They call a cat ball lights up. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing, see? I do communicate with spirits, and that's just a proof. I'm not around, there's nothing electrical around here setting that off, all right? So just to prove you, and there is wind, but we got a wall here, so if you want to think that maybe the wind might might have set it off, no, it's it's not not uh, it's not gonna happen. That's a spirit, spirit activity there, paranormal activity. So I ask permission, and you gotta be respectful when you ask and be uh, em show some empathy and they'll come through and speak so i'd like to thank you darling would you like to try it one more last time i'm going to turn this camera around so can you do it one more time darling just to show me that uh you understand you do it one more time and we're going to get going darling you do it do it again can you do it and show me my name is Reese. Can you show Reese again? One more time, then I'll, I'll, I'll head off. All right. Ask your mum and dad if it's okay, and I ask permission. Uh, mum and dad, um, I ask permission. Can um, lovely Margaret touch the toy again one more time? Just one more time, then then I'll head off and go. Come on, you can do it. Don't be afraid. You did a good job before. You did a really good job. Can you do it again one more time? One more time. And then, then I'm going to get... Oh, I have to go, okay? Because it's getting a bit late. I have to have something to eat. Can you do that for me, darling? One last time. Can you show me you can do that? One more time. I come around here. Come on. All right, 
we'll we'll call it a day. Thank you so much, my darling. So much. Oh. Thank you so much. Let's go down here. We got some people around here at the moment, so um, I'm just going to I'm just going to have it off for now because I don't want to draw attention um, when I do my stuff. So back of the grave there, damaged. The time, the age of time, unfortunately, things break down. You can hear the waves, waves in the background. I would like to do this at night time. Um, doing it at night time too, I feel that energy will be stronger at night than daytime, but I still get communication, which is still good. So I just want to prove to you that day or night, it doesn't really matter. You can get communication, but I feel night time, uh, the, the energy of the spirits is more stronger at night than daytime so let's um no that's that's amazing let's let's um get the uh rim pod going again is there a spirit like to communicate with me come through my name's Reese. what's your name come through through and speak. I ask permission with open arms. Come through and speak. Hello. Can you tell me what happened to you? Where did you pass away? Can you tell me what year you passed away? Hello, darling. I heard a child. I had a child. Come through and speak to me. Can you tell me what happened to you? Now there's a lot, a lot that's been buried that we can't see. Come through. spirits to come around. What happened to you? When, when did you pass on? Can you tell me what year? Um, uh, Charles. My condolences, is my little, little friend. Six years old. Uh, five years old. Six years old, sorry. Uh, John, are you Charles? Sorry. John Mary Jane Fergus. Six years. So I think two passed away here. Charles, can you come through and speak to me? Hello. What happened to you, Charles? Can you, can you tell me what happened to you? Oh, we'll keep going. Hello. I didn't get much more out of uh, connecting with uh, Richard there, so I ended it and moved on. 
there is not one person on the cemetery grounds as I'm communicating with the spirits right now. Absolutely no one. There's no sound contamination. There's nothing. So the voices that come through are the spirits and the spirits only. Now I'm going to do an experiment. We are going to communicate on the plot with the victims of the Cheviot who were shipwrecked and a lot drowned in 1887. I'm going to use the REM pod with the lights and it comes out with the sound. And I'm going to prove to you that spirits do communicate. Doesn't matter day or doesn't matter night. I'm going to show it to you right now. What happened to you? What happened to you here? Oh. Can you tell me what happened? Can you tell me your name? What is your name? Because there are no stones here. If you listen closely to some of the replies, they've got like an English, Scottish accent. Touch that device. It's going crazy. My name is Reese. Yeah, what's your name? It's really high activity here. Really, really high activity. Can you touch it again for me? What is your name? Tell me your name. There's no markers here. Tell me your name and let me know you're here. What happened to you? If you drown, can you make that go off that device that you just touched? Show me that uh, something happened to you. Can you do that? Did you drown? Did you um? Did you drown here? Yeah. You did. Everyone here in this plot, they died. They drowned. What? What year? This is why I do the paranormal stuff that I do to prove that spirits do listen and they do answer. Cheviot, that is the ship that sunk. That's truly amazing. I'm going to be going now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. In part two, we are going to communicate with the ex-Prime Minister, Harold Holt, and we're going to visit the fort and communicate with spirits. You were the Prime Minister, is that correct? Go for a swim. Okay. 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 